During the next few minutes we'll have completely machined a complex solid model using EdgeCam's workflow. Workflow loads the model, automatically adjusting the manufacturing environment to mill term. The component setup dialog captures and displays geometric information pertaining to the model. Working along the ribbon toolbar, Workflow simplistically presents the chronological stages of manufacturing. We will begin by adding the raw material, or in other words, stock. Using fit stock, Workflow measures and reports the overall dimensions. The user may now dynamically increase these values. The stock is now displayed and rendered. In this instance, we wish to use a forging shape. This is presented by a second solid model. The initial stock is removed and using the stock manager, the user may peruse a library of standard stock parts. In this instance, the forging shape is selected and loaded to the part. The component setup dialog is again updated with stock information. A user may now wish to reposition the stock model. Moving along the ribbon toolbar, workflow now introduces manufacturing. Only suitable machine tools, or post processors, are displayed guaranteeing that the machine tool's kinematic matches the workpiece. Full machine graphics of this Doosan Lynx lathe are displayed allowing the user to accurately check the potential collision points. Again, moving along the ribbon toolbar, we now launch Feature Finder. Workflow identifies machinable attributes on the part. Pictures on dialogues are used throughout workflow enabling the user to fully understand the influence of each function. All features are fully associative to the solid model. Both milling and turning features are now displayed within the feature window. Workflow now prompts the user to launch the planning board. As the name suggests, it's at this stage that the user plans the order of machining commands. A process can be reordered by using drag and drop. This finishing cycle can be repositioned before the grooving cycle. The planning board safeguards the user by not allowing the milling command to be moved to the top of the list. We now apply the planning board. Workflow goes to work executing predetermined machining strategies on each feature. In a very short time period the CAM instructions are created. Imagine how much time has been saved compared to manually creating these toolpaths. Moving along the ribbon toolbar, it's now time for the all important machine tool simulation. Here the user scrutinizes for not only tooling collisions but also establishes if the turret on this lathe has been correctly ordered. The list of CAM instructions are displayed on the left hand side so as the user can understand which cycle is at work. The CNC program is now generated. This program would have taken substantially longer to produce had we not used workflow. Of course workflow does not restrict the user to adopt only its predetermined machining strategies. Simply clicking on the cycle the user may alter the contents of the toolpaths. Thanks for viewing this presentation of EdgeCam's workflow.